from all levels because it is not something people typically are looking for. And the great thing is, if you don't get the lock, you will prevent them from touching you, which is great because they're like, I don't want to touch this guy anymore. So, very typical for your partner to take their hands and place them on your biceps. We've all seen this, right? I'm trying to come in and leaning down and, right? Because he wants to pass and whatever. So this is how we're gonna hit this wrist lock. So we're gonna do it without resistance, then he can do it with, with resistance. But he's got four fingers holding bicep. My hand's gonna come across, but right, and touch my heart. And I roll. Notice his punky, pinkies towards the ceiling. Okay, so I'm just rolling it. Once I do that, my other hand's on top and I'm gonna put my elbow towards my belly button. <laughs> when I roll people, they do this, and I'm not typically going, and that's not how I hit it, right? They'll be here and they're like, okay, I'm gonna pass. Gone. That's how it comes in. I don't usually do double. I want it, I'm always thinking of trying to two on one, because two on one's better than one on one. You do one of these, you can pull them out. So the way you keep this bound into place, this is especially good for gi because there's some grip here, but you can hit it no gi as well. So hand close, roll over. Notice my body as I'm turning. Now I do a crunch. So if he feels that you're slow and you, he's like, pull your hands away. Right? He's like, okay, I gotta think of something else rather than touching there, okay? So hands on bicep, close, roll. Down. And the funny thing about this is you don't see a lot of people come in close and they just they tap and it's like I don't know how you got the tap. Again, it's kind of invisible jujitsu. But notice this roll, pinky towards the ceiling, super tap. important. Okay, pull the arm away. Tap. Okay, so without him here, this down. So notice no gap. It's not <clears throat> that. Keep it close. Okay, so this is very subtle. Some manipulation there, so I'll come around and help. Okay. <laughs> yes, thank you. Sorry. If his arms are tight to your ribcage, can you still do Yes, you can. You can play around with it, you'll see. Um, it doesn't have to be out. Uh, no, like put him in the bicep. No, tuck your elbows down tight by his ribcage so you're not off. Well, you can't get arm bar, but. <laughs> it's worse. <laughs> it's worse. This is, yeah, this is what I'm affecting. It's this joint, and I'm not yep. clear about this. It doesn't have to be extended. And people do that. They'll just come in, go tight. Every time. Won't well, matter. Well, I pass a lot from that. Sorry, yes. Okay. So don't like, do this thing. Especially in MMA. Like, yeah. Yeah. And gloves are awesome, too, because they catch. You got that little ridge. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> okay, let's go. One, two.